Hi folks, Karen here with Creative Personalized Keepsakes. And I thought I would go over a couple things with my bookmarks. First, why I do them, why I like them, and why I think they're a really great alternative to a lot of the little cheap trinkets that are out there that everybody seems to buy and everybody uses at their weddings. So first of all, I started doing bookmarks because I, just, I, I love books. I'm a big book fanatic. So I started doing some of these books, you know, bookmarks, because I love books. So I always needed bookmarks anyway. And my girlfriend used to have a bookmarks business that she did really well with. So when I started writing on my blog about weddings, I thought, what a nice idea to add bookmarks as a selection. So what are some ways that you can use bookmarks in your wedding, your party, just about any event or occasion that you're having? So if you're having a wedding and you want to give away cookies, maybe you're doing do-it-yourself things, or a bridal shower, birthday party, graduation party, any type of a party, or a wedding reception. And say you, you're in the, the do-it-yourself phase and, and you like you want to give some favorite cookies, so you're hand-making, you're making some homemade cookies, and you're going to bag them up and they look really nice. Take a bookmark, and on the back, put the ingredients and recipe to your special cook, you know, your special cookies. And then attach that to the bag. If you're giving out plantable seeds, hand a bookmark to them as well. So after they plant the seeds, once their favor is gone, they'll, they won't have a keepsake left. So that's one thing you can do with them. And that would be for any type of a party across the board. Any type of a party across the board. Pastor installations are very popular. A lot of different um, Protestant and some probably even non-denominational churches will bring in a new pastor. Maybe the first pastor moved on for whatever reason. So they're bringing in a new pastor and they're going to have a special service, maybe a luncheon or a little reception after introducing him to the audience, you know, to the congregation. So give a bookmark to the congregation at the service and you can give it to them on behalf of the new pastor thanking you know the congregation for welcoming him or the church can give them to the congregation to introduce the new pastor either way is is fine beaches beach weddings there again, weddings, they're fun. If they fall under the sand, <laughs> they're not going to get damaged. You can't really get sand into them. Memorials are another one that I do quite a lot of. And what you can do with these is you can put the person's picture on one side with their obituary. No, I might have to take the obituary and cut it down a little bit to fit on the bookmark, but more is going to fit on the bookmark than will fit on a little prayer card. And then on the front, their favorite verse, or you can do the obituary on the front if it's longer and do a special verse on the back. With these, you can put them inside of the program if you're having a program, or you can give them separately instead of a prayer card. And that's the same for your wedding invitation, your, your um, wedding favors. You can set them out on the at, at the place settings, or you can hand them out with the wedding program. So you can put them inside the wedding programs. Either way is fine. And you can just use your imagination. Here's some motivational bookmarks. And these just have like your success quotes like you would see out on Facebook or read on Twitter. Just about everywhere you go, you can find motivational and success quotes. Turn them into bookmarks and then advertise your business with them. Put your business information on the back and a success quote in front. 
your clients will like it. If you're in network marketing, you can put your downline information, your contact information on one side, and a quote about succeeding in your business. Lots of ways that you can use bookmarks. They're versatile, they're non-breakable, they're customizable, you can personalize them any way you want, and you can use them for anything you want. And if you go out on YouTube and just type into the search box, book haul, paperback books, anything that has to do with actual physical books that you would need a bookmark for, a lot of people are still reading. Books are not going to go away. And if you are a bookseller, maybe you're not so much a reader, but you go to estate auctions or such, flea markets, yard sales, and you look for specific books that are going to bring in high ticket. They're worth a lot of money. They're valuable. What better way than to advertise your eBay seller information than to take a bookmark and put it inside of that book when you ship it to the buyer? So those are just some of the ways that you can use bookmarks and why I like them so much and they're just they're just really cool. And for more information, stop by creativepersonalizedkeepsakes.com. Thanks for watching.